Good Thoughts from Vision's Daily Devotion, The Word for Today. Psalm 147 and verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Are you in an abusive relationship? Please don't suffer alone. Take the following steps today. Number one, get help. Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 4 and verse 12, A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Be careful who you seek help from. It's best to seek professional help, group support, or a mediator for an intervention. Secondly, separate. If you or your children are in danger, seek a safe place to stay once you have a safety plan in place and a support group to help you. It's not your job to change the person, and it's not a failure on your part if they don't change when confronted with God's love and truth. Hold on to God's promise that says in Hebrews 13 verse 5, I will never fail you, I will never abandon you. Thirdly, get prayer support. Have someone pray for you until you're healed enough to begin the process of forgiveness and can pray for your abuser. A study into the theory of a cycle of abuse discovered that approximately 35% of perpetrators had been abuse victims themselves. Often they're reacting out of their unhealed wounds and undealt with issues. And while this in no way excuses them, it gives you insight into how to pray for them. Satan loves to use things like alcohol, drugs, anger, pornography and other counterfeits to destroy relationships. So pray for your abuser to become the person God intended, as we read in Ephesians 6 and verse 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. What to do if you're in an abusive relationship? That's Vision's Word for Today. The Word for Today, Australia's most widely read daily devotion. Read it, share it or subscribe. Free at vision.org.au or in the Vision app. Just another way Vision is helping you look to God daily.